Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about CT scan of liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis is the irreversible scarring of the liver which occurs in response to long-term liver damage. Liver cirrhosis can be evaluated on a CT scan although early cirrhosis can sometimes be missed. We will compare the image of the normal liver with the appearance of cirrhotic liver. These are CT images in axial plane. On the left side we have a normal liver. You can see the smooth margins. No rough margins are seen. And in the image on the right we have liver cirrhosis. The liver margins are irregular. This irregularity is called surface nodularity. Another feature that is usually seen in cirrhosis is splenomegaly. It is the abnormal enlargement of the spleen. The normal spleen size is approximately 12 cm. In the image on the left, you can see a normal spleen. And in this image, there is splenomegaly. There is an enlarged spleen. You can see the difference in the spleen sizes. These are coronal images of the normal liver and the cirrhotic liver. In the normal image, the liver margins are smooth. Whereas in the image on the right, the liver has irregular margins which is called surface nodularity. The liver also appears to be reduced in size. This is another case of liver cirrhosis. You can see even more surface nodularity in this case. There are irregular liver margins. Splenomegaly is also present. This is another case of cirrhosis. These are contrast enhanced images in the arterial phase. Both the images are in arterial phase. Irregular liver margins are seen. The spleen is not fully seen in this image, but splenomegaly was present. These are non contrast images. In the left image, the liver has a smooth appearance and there is no surface nodularity present. In the image on the right, there is surface nodularity and the liver has a heterogeneous appearance. Regenerative nodules can be seen in cirrhosis cases. Regenerative nodules are more easily seen in a plain CT. They appear as well-defined round structures which may appear slightly hyperdense, slightly bright on a non-contrast CT. You can see many small rounded structures inside the liver. The spleen is also enlarged. This hypodense area is the portal vein. This point right here, this part of the liver, is the caudate lobe. In cirrhosis, the caudate lobe can increase in size. During the arterial phase, the nodules, the regenerative nodules, do not enhance. Hence, they appear darker or hypodense during the arterial phase. You can see hypodense round nodules within the liver. They are appearing darker than the liver tissue. Siderotic nodules are a subtype of regenerative nodules that contain deposits of iron, hemosiderin. These nodules occur in patients with cirrhosis who also have iron overload conditions such as hemochromatosis or long-standing hemosiderosis. 
the siderotic nodules appear more hyperdense as compared to other regenerative nodules due to iron deposition. This is a non-contrast CT image and you can see many round structures that are hyperdense. These are siderotic nodules. Surface nodularity is also present and the liver appears to be somewhat reduced in size. The regenerative nodules are not visible during portal venous phase. The nodules are not really visible during this phase and we are just seeing the surface nodularity of the liver. So the regenerative nodules are best visualized on a plain CT, non-contrast CT. In the image on the left, we can see the normal portal vein and the hilum. The space around the portal vein is the hilar space. Normally, there is some small amount of fat tissue, which is appearing hypodense, darker. But in cases of cirrhosis, the hilar space is enlarged. The liver shrinks and there is more fatty deposition in this hilar space. And you can see an enlargement of this hilar space. More hypodense areas are seen and this space appears widened. This can also be seen in cirrhosis. Ascites is the abnormal accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity. It is seen in cases of cirrhosis. On a CT scan, ascites will appear as hypodense fluid accumulated in the abdominal cavity. You can see a large hypodense collection surrounding the liver and other organs. Splenomegaly is also present. The spleen is abnormally enlarged. The liver appears shrunken. The irregular margins are also present. Ascites and splenomegaly usually indicate portal hypertension. Portal hypertension is the increase in blood pressure inside the portal vein. Due to cirrhosis, there is an increased resistance to the blood flow inside the portal vein. Due to this increased resistance, the pressure inside the portal vein increases, the blood pressure increases, and the portal vein also becomes enlarged. This can cause ascites and splenomegaly. So all these features are usually connected. This is another case of liver cirrhosis. Numerous irregular areas, irregular margins are seen. And there is presence of ascites. The spleen is not fully visualized, but this was an enlarged spleen. This is a non-contrast image. These are non-contrast coronal images. You can compare the appearance of the normal liver with that of cirrhosis. There is ascites. Large collection of hypodense fluid is seen surrounding the liver. The surface nodularity is minimal in this case, but this patient did have liver cirrhosis. These images focus on the corded lobe. In an axial image, the corded lobe is seen anterior to the IVC, the inferior vena cava. This is the corded lobe. The normal AP measurement is 2.5 cm approximately. The normal length is approximately 5 cm and the normal width is approximately 4 cm. In liver cirrhosis, the corded lobe can increase in size. In this image, you can see an enlarged corded lobe and you can compare this appearance with the normal corded lobe and you can see that it is enlarged. Surface nodularity is also present and there is ascites as well. 
Portal vein enlargement indicates portal hypertension. If the portal vein diameter is more than 15 millimeters, it is enlarged. The liver has irregular margins. There is presence of ascites and the liver has a reduced size. Portal vein thrombosis can also occur. In a portal vein thrombosis, a hypodense thrombus or clot will be seen within the lumen of the portal vein. This is the thrombus. There is no contrast intake, so it appears hypodense. Cavernous transformation is the formation of collateral vessels around the portal vein due to cirrhosis. We are seeing many tubular enhancing serpentine collateral vessels around the portal vein during the portal venous phase. These are the collateral vessels. The hilum has become crowded with these vessels. The collateral vessels are also present near the stomach. These are called gastric varices. This image shows portal vein thrombosis. A hypodense structure is seen within the lumen of the portal vein. This thrombus is basically a bland thrombus. It will not enhance with contrast medium. Collateral vessels can also form around the esophagus. These are called esophageal and paraesophageal collaterals. They also appear as tubular or serpentine structures adjacent to the esophageal wall. This structure with a small amount of air, this very low density air, this structure is the esophagus. And you can see many enhancing round and tubular structures. These are the collaterals. The normal esophagus does not have these type of collaterals. These collaterals were seen in a cirrhosis patient. You can see these collaterals more clearly in coronal plane. The esophagus is surrounded by enhancing tubular serpentine structures. These are the collaterals. An enlarged paraumbilical vein can also be present in cases of cirrhosis. The normal paraumbilical veins are not really visible on a CT scan, but when they are enlarged, they can appear as prominent vessels anterior to the liver, somewhat near the umbilicus. In this image, the paraumbilical vein is seen connected to the left portal vein branch. This is the left portal vein and it is seen connected to this paraumbilical vein. The liver has irregular margins. It also has a reduced size and there is presence of ascites. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.